question number 27 is a grammar question talking about pronouns. So, here we are. That will reject apples lacking the expected aroma. That refers to uh, objects, and so does which. So, which, you could say something like which apples, but you don't say which con uh, which consumers. That That's not exactly the, the best thing to do. And you can't say they, because that would be a comma splice. If you just eliminated everything else, they will reject apples lacking the expected aroma. That's an independent clause, and so does what comes before it. Uh, apples that are prized for their fruity fragrance, such as Macintosh, this can be a problem with consumers, period. That could be an independent clause, and you can't have two independent clauses or two groups of words that function as their own uh, as their own sentence by themselves. You can't join them together with a comma. If you did have two independent clauses together, then you should really separate them with a semicolon, but that's not what a comma is for. This is comma splicing, and that's why B is not, incorrect, not correct. But D is great, because that's how you begin the relative clause. Uh, who? Who? Who will reject the apples? Well, consumers will reject the apples. And consumers are people, so that's why we use who.